Thank you everybody for joining us today. I'm Glenn Kinsler with 2B Solutions and today we'll be talking about 2B Law, our matter management solution for the legal industry based on Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now this will be the first of four webinars that we're planning over the next four weeks. Today we'll be talking about document generation and just how easy it is to create standardized documents in 2B Law. Now we usually start with uh, a few introductory slides uh, to kind of set the stage, but today we're going to change things up a bit and we're going to jump right into the demo and then we will do the slides afterwards. Uh, for the demo, I'll give you a quick tour of the solution and an overview of navigation. We'll look at matter records uh, and we will also create a, a contract uh, and even another document too. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about document storage. Uh, then we will do the slides. We'll give a broad overview of 2B Law a little bit of background information on our company, and then of course some Q&A as well. All right. So here is 2B Law. Notice this is a browser-based application. Uh, I'm using Google Chrome, and the solution opens to a dashboard. So here I have a quick look at where my potential clients are coming from, how many matters are assigned to each attorney in our firm, uh, a breakdown of the case types, and then a quick view of time build over the last five weeks. Uh, now this is all my information. Uh, the managing partner or administrator in the firm can have their own um, <clears throat> dashboard that's uh, you know looking at information across the entire firm, not just individuals. And each individual person can have their own dashboard, dashboard customized to what they want to see. But that's how the solution opens. So I'm going to go in here to the navigation area and I'm going to click on the legal tab and then I'm going to come down to matters. Notice I have a lot of other th options here, potential clients, accounts, contacts, and so on but I'm going to go to matters. And the first thing I see are my active matters. These are all the matters that are assigned to me. I'm the owner uh, of these records. Um, <clears throat> and so these, uh, notice I've got eight total records. Uh, all of these can be sorted uh, by columns. I can also filter as well uh, if I want to, just like uh, you would do in Excel. And if I wanted to take a look at all of the matters across the firm, I can, uh, not just the ones that I'm working on, but ones that are assigned to other attorneys as well. But let's go back to my matters. And I'm going to open this record right here, Arnold Phillips. Now double click that record and I'm opening up uh, more information about this matter or case. I've got some information over here in the upper left, uh, some more details, I've got a description. Here in the middle, I'm tracking activities like phone calls and meetings. I'm also tracking notes. These are internal communications that myself and others uh, are perhaps entering uh, on this matter, just another way for us to collaborate internally. Over on the far right, <clears throat> I've got a breakdown of my billing information, how much of the fee we've earned thus far, what we have in expenses, how much has been paid, and then the difference. And then I've got also listing my time records as well. Notice that I have seven time entries total. I'm just showing the first four here, but I can navigate back and forth if I need to. Uh, just uh, to show you a little bit more, as I scroll down, I've got some more information about this particular matter. This is a family law or a child custody example that we're using. So we're going to uh, you know, track things like where the marriage uh, <clears throat> was uh, created and what court this is filed in, and any children and description and, and so forth. A little bit further down, I've got information about payment and expenses, and we will cover more of this in a future webinar. But what we're here to look for today is document generation. So if I come up in here into my ribbon and I click on the More Commands button, you'll notice a Word Templates option. And if I click in there, I'll be given a number of Word templates that we have already imported into the solution. So notice I have an invoice. I've got a motion to dismiss, a non-disclosure agreement, power of attorney, 
in a standard contract. Now I can create instantly uh, a new document based on any of these templates and it's going to pull data from this matter record. So let's go ahead and create a standard contract. I'm just going to click on standard contract. And notice that the file has is a downloaded file that I can now open. And it opens in the preview mode, but I'll just click into sort of the normal view. And so notice this is a standard agreement that we have as a company. And uh, we've put in some information. So it's pulling in information into these um, uh, into this field, the client's name, the client's address, the phone number, uh, and the email address as well. A lot of this is just boilerplate information. That's all the uh, fields from the matter record. But if I had uh, you know, more things to bring in, I certainly could make those changes to the template. A little bit further down here, too, I've added my name um, to the document. If I needed to, I can edit this. I can take pieces out. I can add to it, whatever I needed to do. But at least I've just very quickly started with a, very, you know, with a base document that I can now uh, edit if I need to or save. I can save it to um, <clears throat> you know, my local computer if I need to, or I can save it to, uh, say, a SharePoint site. Uh, so here's our SharePoint site that we have set up, but I will just, go, in fact, I'll go ahead and save that. And it might take me just a second to do that, and I can tag it if I need to. But now this document is shaved, saved rather in SharePoint, and other people on the team can check it in, check it out, make edits, so forth. minimizing here. We could also, I'll, I'll do another one just uh, for demonstration. We'll do a quick invoice. This is not a pretty document that we spent a lot of time on, uh, the template, uh, but let's just, you know, quickly show you uh, how easy it, is, easy it is to create another one. So again, we didn't really dress this up very much, but it's pulling in contact and address information, the, the matter number, the matter uh, name itself, and the, and the balance owed. Um, Quickly, I will show you what these templates actually look like. I'm going to uh, open up the standard uh, contract template. Uh, if you notice here, I'm bringing in, this is bringing in the uh, file names uh, from the matter. Creating this template is actually quite easy. We might cover that uh, in a future webinar, but if I needed to, I could very easily add um, additional pieces to it. Say I wanted to bring, uh, you know, some additional fields. This is bringing all the fields in from the matter record, and I can just very quickly insert a field as either rich text, plain text. I can also pull in pictures as well. Um, and then after I've finished making the edits, I can upload it back into To Be Law, and the matter will be ready to use uh, again. So we will take some questions uh, after uh, the slides. So we'll kind of jump into the slides here. So uh, what is To Be Law? <clears throat> well, um, To Be Law is uh, it's built on the Microsoft Dynamics CRM platform, and it is a solution to store all the information about your important client matters and potential clients for a law firm or a legal department perhaps of a larger organization. Um, it's easy to use. It has seamless integration with other Microsoft uh, products such as Office 365 and also SharePoint. Uh, it's, uh, we, we really tried to just simplify matter and client management and there are lots of mobile options as well. In fact, I'll show you a screenshot here in just a minute, but it enables professionals to work on, you know, documents and records from any device uh, anywhere, as long as they have an internet connection. And, uh, you know, we're helping to replace some time-consuming, clunky manual processes of, you know, legacy matter systems, some of which have not changed in many years and are not very customizable, like the Dynamics CRM platform. Uh, and as we mentioned before, it has a seamless integration with Office, Word, Excel, Outlook as well. 
So uh, if attorneys or legal professionals are spending a lot of time in those applications, 2B Law is going to be a really nice fit for them. Uh, we're streamlining, uh, tracking the matters and cases and giving real-time visibility and actionable, actionable analytics to people in the firm. Uh, we're also providing easier ways of, track, uh, of tracking connections, leads, referrals, both inbound and outbound as well. As we showed, we have integrated document management, and we do have mobile access as well. We've built out a few practice areas, criminal defense, uh, probate work, bankruptcy, divorces, or family law, really, also civil cases. We're, we're adding more um, case types or, or, or matter types to the solution as well. Uh, we talked and touched on um, <clears throat> integrated uh, document management. So as part of Office 365, uh, firms have access to SharePoint, which is a really a world-class document management uh, solution. Provides a lot of uh, a lot of great functionality, including permissioning, check-in, check-out, version history, uh, workflows as well. Um, uh, Microsoft is releasing a a SharePoint add-on called Matter Center, uh, specific for the legal industry, and we're looking at ways to integrate our solution with Matter Center. I think it's going to be a very nice solution um, uh, in the near future. As I mentioned, we have a lot of uh, mobile options. Here are a couple of screenshots from uh, just the mobile app. This is a free mobile app that Microsoft provides that gives uh, you, know, you uh, all the information that you need right at your fingertips when you're on the go, perhaps you're in court or you know, leaving your client's office or you know, maybe doing a deposition, things like that. You can quickly uh, update information using the mobile app, access information, including documents, by the way, uh, and we will show that in a future webinar. Uh, our first client for 2B Law really waves, raves about it. His name is William White from the law firm of Parkman and White, and here's a quote for him. He truly endorses our solution, says it has saved he and his firm tons of time and really tons of headaches as well and has helped them bring in more of the right cases for them. Uh, so he is a big supporter of it. Uh, we've added a few more afterwards, and uh, we're really excited about where this product is going. A little bit of information about us. We were formed in 2003, and we're headquartered in Birmingham, Alabama. We specialize in two things. Those are inventory and asset management solutions. You may have come to some other webinars that we've done for some other solutions that we offer, uh, but also CRM solutions focusing on the legal education and healthcare spaces. Uh, we have over 1,000 customers in 14 countries. We are a Microsoft Silver CRM partner and a member of the Apple Business Consultants Network. Um, so I will stop the recording here in just a moment and take questions from the audience, but uh, I'm joined here on the phone with my, uh, by my colleague, Barkley Busby, and uh, here is our contact information. If you have any questions at all about 2B Law, please feel free to uh, reach out to us. We'd love to talk. We'd love to find out more about what you and your clients need. <clears throat> and if you have any questions, if you'd like to see a uh, sort of a uh, you know a one-on-one, -on -one, a dedicated demo, we can also give you access to a demo site that we have. So again, I'm going to stop the recording, but uh, if you do have questions, please feel free to reach out for us any, to us anytime. Uh, thank you very much.